Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing a touchscreen stereo system into my 2016 RAM. When I bought the RAM, I bought not the base model, but one without Bluetooth and without a touchscreen. At the time, I just wanted something that would play the radio, uh, be more affordable. But I've had it for several years now, so uh, I think it's time to upgrade. So I looked on Amazon and multiple websites and this boss model was one of the cheapest, nicest ones that I could see. Reviews were pretty much hit or miss. If you got a good one, it worked well, but there was a lot of lemons. So I had a look around and I found a website called crutchfield.com. They sold this exact model. Pricing was about the same as it was on Amazon. But what I did like about their site was they included the face plate to make it fit the RAM. And I was worried about finding the right face plate to fit and any other stuff that I would need. And I've installed many stereos in the past, but I didn't really feel like cutting up a factory harness if I didn't have to. So Crushfield actually has an option where you can choose different levels of installation kits and they pick out all the connectors and things that you need. So I got this option here to supposedly fit this stereo. I'm not sure if there's gonna be some splicing involved, maybe a little bit, but this should plug into the factory harness. And it also has this option here where you can get this adapter to connect to the power antenna in the truck too. So I chose the, I believe it's the biggest package with all the options, but I can't really remember. But like I said, there's different levels. You can choose just the just the phase plate or just this adapter, or you can get the kit with everything. So this is the whole setup. I've just got a little space heater in the truck right now because it's really cold out and my garage still isn't heated. So I'm gonna head in there and uh, we'll start taking the dash apart and get this installed. All right, I'm in the uh, truck now and uh, I got a little space heater set up. It's uh, minus 15 in here right now. It was about minus 25 overnight at Celsius. So it's pretty darn cold. Uh, it's starting to warm up here a little bit. I just want some of the plastic to warm up so I don't break anything when I start taking this apart. I'm gonna get the uh, camera set up on the tripod and start taking this dash apart. All right, so let's get this thing taken apart. Okay, so I've got the dash removed, like the console cover, whatever it's called. I've got the uh, old radio removed. I've plugged everything, tucked it in behind. Now the instructions that I have for this new faceplate tell me I have to remove this metal piece here. So I'm just going to give it a little cut on the corners here with a rotary tool and uh, remove that. All right, before I go any further, uh, I mentioned before I wanted to tap into the uh, reverse camera. So the wires for that are right here, these green and the green and red here in this uh, panel. So I just ran a wire through the dash back up here that I'm going to tap into this right now. And boys, it's cold. This little heater's not helping me much. So I'm gonna connect that off camera and get back to the dash in a minute there. Okay, so I've got the wire run for the uh, camera. And now I've got the adapter for the uh, new stereo. And I've got the harness adapter to connect the um, factory wiring to conventional stereo wiring. So I'm going to take a minute and I'm gonna connect all these guys together. Um, then I'm gonna connect the new camera wire to this one and i've got the antenna adapter i'm going to connect that as well so i'm going to do all this stuff i'm just going to put that on high speed so it's going to be a bit of a process and kind of boring for you guys so we'll just make it a quick uh, few seconds OK, 
Okay, so I have everything here wired up. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is the polarity on the camera. So I connected it the way I think it, it should be, the yellow to yellow, but I wasn't sure about the uh, wire colors at the other end. Uh, this part is not part of the kit. There's very little information online about what wire is what. You can buy different uh, adapters, but I just decided to splice it myself. So what I'm going to do is connect everything, reconnect the battery, turn the truck on, uh, put it in reverse and see if the camera actually works. And if so, then great. If not, then I'll s switch those two wires around. So I'm going to start plugging stuff in. Um, this does require a reverse light and uh, park and sensor or whatever so that you can use the the camera and different things when the vehicle's not moving. And it uses this connector here, which connects to the truck with this USB. So it has this little box that comes with the kit. This little guy, CHR01. Um, so this is gonna plug in here. The USB is gonna plug in the back there and that should make that stuff work without having to splice into the ECU wires, which, which is one of the advantages to this kit and why I bought it. All right, so I'm gonna connect all this stuff up, uh, reconnect the battery, and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I got the truck battery reconnected. Um, the stereo here is connected. Now, I mentioned earlier that this little black box plugs in here and that there's a little USB connection here which I thought connected to this existing USB in the truck but they're completely different type of USB so that's not needed at all I wasn't sure how this would connect so I didn't connect it I turned on the truck uh, the stereo didn't turn on anyway I, cu I couldn't uh, I didn't plug in this little box here because I didn't know where it plugged in so I called tech support and he asked first thing he asked me was did you plug in this little box and i'm like well no because i couldn't figure out where the other end went he said just plug in the box i plugged it in turned on the truck and it works so i don't know what's in this little box but uh, somehow it grabs some other stuff here and sends it to the, the stereo but uh, yeah so that's uh that was working and uh, it does turn on uh, i mentioned earlier that i wasn't sure about the uh, polarity on the on the camera wire so I started the truck put it in reverse uh, it didn't work I cut these and reconnected them in the reverse order and sure enough it works now so I'm going to finish the shrink tube on these uh, I'm gonna assemble the faceplate bolt everything in and uh, wrap this thing up you know I was hoping to get Crossfield to uh, sponsor this video but they haven't gotten back to me in time but regardless their website is great um, the kits that you can choose like all the options they have different levels of, of uh, how big the kits are that you can you can choose obviously I chose a slightly bigger kit so I'd have less work to do here Okay, so I've got everything back in the dash, all reconnected, uh, screwed back in. I was a little concerned about um, how uh, an aftermarket stereo would fit in this odd shaped uh, console, but uh, the aftermarket adapter fits really nice. Quite happy with that. So now um, I'm going to turn on the truck. So the new screen's turning on, so it's got a touch screen on it. So I'm going to move to the radio station I listen to all the time. Okay, so I've got that program. Now, I'm just gonna start the truck. And I'm gonna 
put it in reverse. And we can see here the camera is on. That's just the, uh, the garage doors that we're seeing there. And if we look up at the rear view mirror, that's where my camera usually shows. So because I spliced into the wires for that camera, now I get the reverse cam on here as well, which should be handy to have both. And I thought it was going to need some extra connections um, because of the reverse light, but that little box, when I plugged it in, I connected the, the proper wires for it, and that seemed to be enough. So I'm happy with that. That was uh, a lot less work than I expected. So now I got to uh, play with the little uh, with this new stereo and get it all set up. But uh, that was a pretty straightforward install. Um, I'm really glad that I bought the adapter to connect to the truck. That saved a lot of work. It it ended up with uh, all the same colored wires for the stereo and for the uh, the adapter. So that was the easiest uh, install I've ever done, actually. Uh, my only concern was the uh, parking wire and the vehicle speed sensor wires, which uh, apparently that box takes care of. Uh, thanks again to Crushfield's tech support for um, such an easy install. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I, I'll see how this uh, touchscreen works. Uh, like I said, it was the cheapest one that I could find, but uh, it still looked half decent. And like I said, the reviews said that if you got one that worked, then there was no issues with it. But occasionally out of the box, they would plug them in, turn them on, and there would be uh, just a dud that wouldn't work. Um, but from everything that I read, uh, you'd send them back to Crutchfield, they'd send you a new one. So I guess that's a good option. So that's it for uh, this video. Um, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please do, and I'll see you in the next one.